we have here is a, a desk with integrated coils embedded into the underneath of, of the desktop. And each one of the devices on the desk is a low power application which falls within the range for the primary coil to send a message to the secondary coil. Secondary coils are located in each one of these devices. And when I place it within range, light goes on to show you that they're connected, they're communicating with one another, and they're charging. Right now, this knows that it's charging the Motorola Bluetooth headset. It gives it the appropriate amount of power that it needs. I can turn it off, move it away, the light goes off. I can take a separate, separate device, and it knows the power requirements for this device as well. Now I've got probably seven or eight devices here, and each one of them works in the same way. Excuse me. So what is communicating uh, the, in, you know, the, the, the information to the desk, you know, the coils in the desk to say exactly how much power the BlackBerry sure. needs versus the phone needs versus the headset needs? What, what is communicating is an actual chip, a, a chip that is, is able to provide the information about what it is, how it needs to be charged, and, and how much power it needs. Inductive coupling is the way that the electricity actually gets transferred, the power gets transferred. It is the, the chip, though, that communicates uh, to one another to say, am I one of, three, one of three devices? One is, I'm a battery that needs to be recharged. Okay, I know that you're a battery that needs to be recharged, so how much power do you need? What's your charging curve? When do I shut off? What's the, what's the cutoff point for you? There's also lamps on the, other, on the other side of the demonstration that is basically direct power. You move the lamp onto here, it turns the light on, you move it off, and it, and it turns it off. And the, the last uh, way to supply the power is actually through uh, a supercapacitor, which is connected to the battery and can charge a completely dead, in this case a remote control on the other side, to a fully charged battery in about four seconds, and that lasts around four days. The technology can also be put into automobiles. You can see here in this car we have a charging station for both Blackberries. You can see all of this is a, just a simple, simple place for you to put the phone in your car and uh, when you drop it in there it will begin charging your phone while you're driving. All right, anytime, thank you. Okay, I'm Scott Eisenstein, I'm the VP of Marketing for PowerMat. Um, PowerMat is a method for transferring energy wirelessly to uh, handheld devices of any kind. To all your electronics, we do both low and high powered devices, which we'll get to in a moment, but essentially, the PowerMat looks like this. It works by means of magnetic induction, and um, but the power mat uh, works when the mat itself comes into contact with the receiver that we've embedded into the device. Now, the receivers are part of a case that we sell. We sell individual cases for each for uh, individual cases for each device, each handheld device that you have. This is for an iPhone. Um, the receiver and the mat make contact and essentially speak to each other. See that LED comes on and lets you know that you have a, a good connection. So this is the home version of the Paramount. This is just a tray. We can support up to six devices. This is a low power version. If you move over here, you'll see that this is a bedside version of Paramount. This can support up to three different devices. Each of these devices is again retrofitted with one of these jackets. The jackets contain uh, the power mat receiver. So the receiver has to make contact with the mat in order for energy transfer to occur. Now, because we work by means of magnetic induction, did you hear that sound, by the way? Okay, that sound is just one way that lets you know that you've actually reached a hot spot and that energy transfer has been started. The desk version that we offer, um, again, the desk version can, can support both high power and low power. Low power is anything under 100 watts, high power is anything 100 watts or over, like a laptop computer. The most exciting version, in my opinion, of what we offer is the travel mat. Now the reason for that is because people are constantly calling us and saying that they have to travel with their iPhone, their Blackberry, their camera, you know, their kids PSP, etc, etc. And it gets sort of cumbersome because for each one of them you have to carry a dedicated charger or docking station. It's a lot to carry, it's a lot of, you know, outlets to find when you're in a hotel room. The power mat uh, travel, let's, by the way, you all understand that power mat needs to be plugged into the wall in one specific outlet, correct? 
right? And energy's not gonna come out of nowhere, yes. right? Okay, so um, it plugs into the wall at one specific outlet, and then it folds up, allowing you to put it in your pocket or to put it in one of the cases we have up front. This is all you need to carry with you in order to power all of your devices.